seven times. Seven times. Not forty. Seven. That would be too much. I want to thank Sharice for the decorating today. She's right there in the white coat. Yeah. Good job, you guys. Good job. Wonderful. Well, uh, Valentine's Day is a wonderful day for Christians because it encompasses and is driven by the spirit of love. And we uh, appreciate. Uh, Amorous love, but here today we're celebrating love in general and uh, having it be the driving force in our life. So, you want to be motivated by love, you want to have love on the mind, you can't have too much love. You want to be saturated in love, like uh, basking in it, like soaking in it. Love is a brine that's going to work on our nasty little hardened hearts and soften them up like a good olive. Good green olive, all right? How about yes. that? Yeah. Green olive. Amen. And uh, uh, we got little bags of candy. Sure, you put all those together and hung all these balloons. Just wonderful. It really sets the mood this morning. And in the spirit of love, uh, we have a wonderful uh, song this morning from Tree. And Tree's been such a blessing since he's been here. Uh, you guys appreciate Tree? Yeah. 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 Amen. Wonderful. He's been helping out with the sound and really just been a part of our congregation in a fantastic way since he's been with us. And it's just wonderful. And his family. And um, it's great for him to share with us this morning. So he's got a song. And I uh, just want to come, have him come up and we're going to pray with him before we get going here. And I'm pray for me that I can get the CD thing running right. <laughs> All right. Praise God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Father. Lord, we love you. Praise your name. Lord, we thank you so much for this morning and a celebration of love, Father, which comes from you. We praise your mighty name for this love that draws us together, binds us together, Father, propels us into the future and, and into the kingdom. Lord, bless Tree this morning as he shares his heart with us, Father and sings and just shows glory and honor to you with his gifts and Lord bless him thank you for tree bless him in every way Father we pray in Jesus name Amen, Amen. Are you ready? Oops. Okay Blessing is to be here. That's it. That's okay. Yeah. Ah, this song is called "I Can Only Imagine." Oh, yeah. one of my favorites. It's a really beautiful song. I feel it's really fitting how it just happened to be landing on this uh, beautiful day, Valentine's Day. As we are here celebrating the greatest example of love on earth. And I'm really excited to sing for you. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous, and, uh, but it's all a blessing. So.
45 on 78. <laughs> I can only imagine what it will be like when I walk by your side.
sand. Valentine's Day. Jesus, we thank you for the sacrifice that you gave us, the true sacrifice of love, God. We praise you for it this morning.
Oh 
come and sit at your feet, Lord. We're so unworthy. How can we compare to your majesty? Thank you, Lord. Thank you for paying the price for us. God, for tearing that curtain, for bridging the gap between humanity and God. We love you and we praise you. And we are so thankful that we can be with you and just stay and rest in your presence, God. It revives our bones. It, it gives us new life. We pray for more of that life this morning. In your name, everyone says, yes. Amen. 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 Praise God. Well, just again, just turn to your neighbor and say hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Wonderful Sharice, but thank her for welcome this morning. I hope you guys want more. Yes, yeah. amen. Because that, that passion for Jesus should be so much a part of who we are, and it should be so much inside of us that we just want to tell everybody about it. Amen. And, you know, I know that our relationship with God is like any other relationship. It kind of has its moments of ebbing and flowing, but... When you feel the fire and you feel the passion, go with it. Tell people. Tell them how you've been set free. Tell them what you know. And so, mm, I, might just, I might go out on the streets today while you guys are going. I'll go with you. Come on. <laughs> oh, well, praise the Lord. We're going to have a great day today. And That's right. We're going to celebrate God's love and not the love of the world. Although flowers and chocolates praise and Lord. pretty things and uh, what is it? Instapots. Somebody here yes. got an Instapot. Those are, those are all wonderful things to have, but it just can't compare to God's love. Oh, praise the Lord. What's happening here? Come on. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Woo. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but when I worship the Lord, I get these, these visuals in my mind when I'm worshiping, and I was telling Tina about it. I said, I just, I just see Jesus on the throne, and I'm just praising his name. Yeah. And uh, it starts out like that, but um, for those of you that have property and, and acreage, you know that you have to clean up that property at times. And we did that. We, we made the mess a couple months ago, and now we're cleaning up the mess. The trees got cut down, and now we're burning slash piles. But in burning those slash piles, Rex decided that he needed one of those <coughs> flame torches. You guys ever seen those? Oh, yeah. Those things are awesome. Oh, yeah. And he, he just loves going out there. And so I was picturing that, you know, set a fire down in my soul. And I was like, you know, yeah. just burning these slash piles. And he's, he's so proud of them. He's like, look out the window. Look how big that one is. And I'm like partially <laughs> terrified. Like I feel like I can't go anywhere or leave the kids because there's this huge fire. He's like, I'm going over to my dad's to watch a show. And I'm like, oh, you know. So anyways, praise the Lord. All right. We have clothing closet today. And if you feel like you want to stick around and put some clothes on hangers so we can get them into the closet, please join us today. We love to have you. It's directly after church. We have service tonight at six o'clock here in the sanctuary. Monday night, no prayer night, but if you have a prayer request, please fill out a card and put it in the box. Um, we will get to those and um, Rex and I will personally pray over them and then we'll carry them over to prayer night. Because Monday night this week is a board meeting. I'm and online. Yes. I'm getting to that. Uh, Wednesday night, we have Bible study here in the sanctuary at 7 o'clock. And all of these things, um, prayer service, board meeting, Bible study, you can also be a part of those on Zoom if you'd like. And the services are also on Facebook Live. Um, we do have some Valentine babies, which is just cute, isn't it? Isn't it sweet? We have Valentine babies. We have Ginger and we have Eric. Yes. So we need to sing happy birthday to our Valentine babies. They're not babies anymore, but the good kids.
downstairs. You have uh, Miss Kathy and Miss Maddie today. Thank you for the Sunday school covers. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. So good to see you all here. Praising the Lord. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Jesus was uh, walking along one day and he asked a few young men to follow him and they joined him immediately. And uh, he sat down on a grassy hill and started talking to him about what God wants mankind to do. And as he was talking, people heard that he was there and flocked to hear him. And I can't read all the things he said, but I'd like to read just a few here. I said to you, don't resist violence. If you're slapped on the one cheek, turn the other too. If you're ordered to court and your shirt is taken from you, give them your coat also. If the military demand that you carry their gear for a mile, carry it two miles. Give to those who ask and don't turn away from those who want to borrow. There is a saying, love your friends and hate your enemies. And I say, love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. In that way, you will be acting as true sons of your Father in heaven. For he gives his sunlight to both the evil and the good. It sends rain on the just and the unjust. If you love only those who love you, what good is that? Even scoundrels do that much. Jesus said, love one another. Love God and each other. Praise God for love. There's no limit to it. And God loves us for that same love, unlimited love. Let's pray for our coming service, all right? Lord God, thank you that we can assemble together and learn about you and love each other and love you and to thank you for who you are and for giving us life and then through Jesus, giving this life more abundantly, life forever with you. We ask you, Lord God, this morning, 
speak to our pastor and open our understanding for what you have for us this very day. And we all, when we leave here, we can say, it's been good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Awesome. Well, happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Wonderful. Amen. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Brotherly love. Just turn that down just a little bit. It's killing me. Thank you. We got, I'm getting used to speaking with this thing. I like I'm, I'm old school because I like to I learned with a just a microphone in my hand, you know. So praise God. <laughs> if you turn your Bibles this morning to Matthew 22, 37, we're going to talk a little bit about love. Just a quick, quick message this morning. Thank you, Lord. Well, I get Sharice up here today. That was super exciting. <clears throat> What's that? Matthew 22, 37. And someone in a nice, loud, clear voice, if you would. He said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Yes, okay, can you just go back a couple of verses and read the, the prelim? When the Pharisees heard that he had silenced the Sadducees, sad, Sadducees. whatever, they gathered together, and one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? And he said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Awesome. Two good, two good instructions. And... You know, the, the ten, we have the ten that were given by Moses, given by the Lord through Moses, and designed to bring back the people of God back into his heart. And so he gave these ten commandments, and then Jesus comes along hundreds of years later and gives, sums up the two greatest commandments, which are to love the Lord your God, right? And to love your neighbor as yourself. So, love, praise God, in our life is the currency in which we do business as Christians. So, we have a lot of motivating forces in our life. We have uh, anger. We have hate. We have bitterness. We have jealousy. A lot of people run on those motivating forces, don't they? Fear. Fear is probably the biggest one. I would say, because uh, the whole world is under the deception of the evil one, and his main motivating force is fear. fear. That's what Jesus said. He says, you're the uh, liar and the father of lies. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And, and he uses the, the vessel of fear in order to do that, in order to steal things from our life, destroy who we are, destroy our hope, steal our joy, steal our family, steal our health. Mm -hmm. Still our peace, right? Fear, man, it's corrosive. It's like rust. <laughs> like, right? You ever try to get rust out of an automobile, an old automobile? I know Jen has, right? Yeah. What do you do, Jen? You just sand it down to the bare metal and paint it, and you gotta get, you gotta get down. Yeah. Somebody knows what they're doing. <laughs> Somebody has elbow grease too, right? Uh, it's rust and it's corrosive, and love is the antidote. Or fear. Where there's love, it just casts fear out. Every time. It never fails. Can I hear an amen? That's good. Yeah. Well, in the book of Matthew, uh, a lawyer asked Jesus the following question in an attempt to trip him up. He says, Jesus, which is the greatest commandment in the law? All right. And Jesus replied, he says, love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your soul, with all your mind. Amen? Yes. All of it. Everything. All of it. We need to be sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> with all of it. Man, that doesn't leave much room for us to hate God, does it? 
Right? They would say, well, we fear God, but that's different. That's awe. That's like the train at 3 o'clock in the morning. Now when it rumbles through, you guys hear it? You guys hear it. I know you hear it. It's like the rapture every time. Sometimes it's, yeah, I'm like, hey, you're running a little late, Tom. <laughs> but I have, man, I have awe for that thing. You ever stand right next to a train as it goes by? You have respect for that thing. I went into, a, it was a dam, and they went and they had these giant, these uh, turbines inside of, this, inside of this dam. And you stand right next to that thing, and your hair stands up. And you have respect for that power, man. I tell you, it's something else. But that's what it's talking about with God. But to love your, the Lord, your God, okay, your God, with all your heart, with all your heart, 